WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is live at StarMed's testing site. Chloe, experts are now suggesting it may be a good idea to change the type of mask you wear. Yeah, hey Fred, for a lot of people, it's been really tough to avoid a testing site like this one in the past few weeks. That's how contagious Omicron is. But now experts are saying that a medical grade mask like this one may offer you some more protection. They've become a staple over the last two years, and doctors say with a percent positivity rate in the 30s, masks aren't going anywhere. You got a mask. You got to wear the mask right, and it's got to be fitting. Especially with Omicron spreading, a mask will only work if it completely covers your nose and mouth. Experts say it's a good time to upgrade from the reusable cloth masks so many people have purchased or made. So it has to fit and, and it has to be tight fitting. Um, for cloth masks, it's a little bit harder for that to happen. Plus, several studies show surgical masks are better at limiting the spread of droplets carrying the virus. Research out of Yale and Stanford found the filtration efficiency of surgical masks was 95%, compared to 37% for cloth masks. Um, if you want to have maximum protection, I think it's worthwhile having that surgical mask or the surgical mask with the cloth mask, particularly if you're in indoor enclosed spaces. Now that there isn't a shortage of PPE for medical professionals, experts say the strongest option is a KN95 or N95 mask. The downside of it is it's more uncomfortable. It's harder to wear for long periods of time. So what could you do about this? Well, mix and match. The FDA says you should not reuse this type of disposable surgical mask, and if it doesn't fit tightly to your face, that's when you should double up with a cloth mask. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte.